Alright, so to start everything off, I'm going to show you guys today how to fix the dreaded your device is not supported screen. So, the first few things you're going to need is you're going to need the links for all the stuff that I have open here. You're going to, We're going to be using this program called Magix, which basically will allow you to root without modifying the system. The way I think it actually works so far from what I've understood is that it mounts uh, an image file with the root applications in it that will then access your system in some way. It's a bit weird to understand and I still don't understand it myself but here's, I'll have all the links to the pages that you'll need in the description down below uh, and also if you want exposed you're gonna need this specific uh, build of exposed because this is the systemless version and uh, also thanks to these reddit threads which all I'll have links to in the description for helping me figure out how to do this because I didn't you know <laughs> at first I was using exposed and a root cloaker program but that didn't work so at least this I can confirm works so let's move on over to the phone uh, actually before we do that uh, what you guys need to do is actually download all of the files for the magic program you're going to need uh, the latest version you they have here in this case is v6 the manager which is an app which you'll install later and the module template all of these you'll need to flash in uh, the custom recovery and if you want exposed you could just download it from here and that will also give you the zip file for exposed and I already have all of these downloaded oh uh, one more thing I need to mention you also need this custom super root application or the zip file and then you'll install the application from the play store that super user file you can also find in the same thread as the magic program which is right here so we're gonna put all of these zip files onto the phone so I'm gonna just plug that in now I'm going to show you guys how to do it on signage and mod. Alright, so as you guys can see, I have all the files already listed and downloaded here. Next thing we're going to do is basically just select them all and copy them onto the root of the SD card, like so. Alright, now that that's basically done, that's the last step we need the computer for. Uh, the next is basically going to be done on the phone, so we're going to go to that now. Alright, so the first one we're going to be looking at is the stock ROM. So if you're on a stock ROM, the first thing you're going to need to do is navigate to your super uh, SU app. I'm going to hit cancel here because I've already done uh, this modification before on this device. So you're going to go all the way to settings and you're going to go down all the way to uh, full uninstall root which should be right here full unroot and this is going to remove all the files that are needed for root. If you're on a stack ROM you need to do this first. If you're on Synergy mod you can skip this step. So since I've already done that uh, as you guys can see, I've already got the modded super user app. Now, if you're on Synergen mod like me on my secondary device, you notice that even if you disable, like for instance, if you go to settings here, all the way down to the developer options and disable root access, even though you disable it, uh, the game will still not log will not allow you to log in. Now, this is because the game itself actually checks for the root binaries or the SU binaries in the phone itself so even though you disable root in developer options it will still be on your phone so that way when the game checks to see if you have a root binary on your phone it won't let you log in that's how it basically works so in order to get around this on signage and mod what you need to do is if you have exposed uninstall it uh, or before even doing any of that what I do is I update my phone to the latest build before I do any sort of modification like this so since I'm running nightlies that's what I've done and as you can see uh, I still have a root on my phone here let me show you guys basically I think the only app I can use right now that would show that is set CPU because usually if you open set CPU and you don't have root it'll tell you that you don't have root so as you can see I still have root now the next thing you're going to want to do is actually reboot your phone and flash all of the files first. Uh, so we're going to reboot, I'm going to reboot into recovery, hit OK. Alright, so as you can see, just swipe to allow modifications, doesn't matter. But like I said before, if you're on the stock run, make sure you use SuperSU to unroot your phone first. Alright, so I fixed the exposure on the camera and hopefully just should allow you guys to see the screen a little bit better. Alright, so we're going to swipe uh, to unlock this and now what we're going to do is we're going to install everything. So we're going to scroll all the way down. <clears throat> we're going to install the Magix zip first. 
As you can see, it's copying these image files to the system. Let's see if I can go back. We're also going to flash the module. And we're going to go back again. We're also going to flash the PHP super user. Or PHH, sorry. I'm also going to flash this enable LTE zip files because uh, I needed to do that when I updated. Alright, so now once you're done, you're going to hit reboot system and let it reboot. Alright, so now that you're back in Android, what you need to do now is navigate to your uh, file explorer, which should be here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to install both the manager app, like here. We're going to hit done. And we're going to also install the custom exposed installer. Alright, I have to actually remove the old one before I do that. Duh. If you do have the old exposed app, uh, usually updating Sandage Mod will remove the firm, uh, framework, but the app will still be on your phone. So you need to just manually install that. Alright, so we're going to open up the exposed installer now. Maybe <laughs> this time it should work. Alright, so now we're going to hit done. Next thing you need to do is go to the Google Play Store and look for PHH super user so p h h super user there we go and install this as well all right so now it's installed we're just going to hit open i'm just going to open up the uh magic manager here as you can see i can toggle both of these if i if I try to toggle it, it's going to ask me for super users, so we're going to hit remember this choice and hit allow. Right again, I don't think it's going to work, is it? No, oh, okay. So it's not going to work, and the reason is, is because we still have the super user binaries on our system. So now we need to get a sort of a root explorer app, so we're just going to go to the Play Store and look up for uh, root explorer. Explorer go and root browser we'll go for the one that's free all right so now what we need to do is we need to open this and we're going to need to navigate to these two places uh no we're not going to download the utilities all right Hopefully you guys can still read the screen. Let me make this a little bit brighter. There we go. That should be a bit better. Um, so we're going to go to system bin. And we're going to delete the SU file from here. There we go. SU. Now what we're going to do is we're going to delete this. Yes. And we're going to hit my choice allow deleted su and i was going to delete su from system x bin so look for x bin underscore oh <laughs> there's not many files in here so we're going to do that again so we're going to hit delete yes all right and now when we go back to the manager app we should be able to toggle root i believe now there we go. Now, as you guys can see, it works. So I can also toggle SE Linux, but I'm not going to mess with that. So we're going to turn on Pokemon Go with the root disabled. I'll let that boot up will take a little bit. Right, let me put in my email to log in. yeah I'm back into the game back under my account as you can see it's working no tricks no frills nothing 
this is all real. Now if I close out of the app and re-enable root, it will not let me log in. Now while that boots up, I'm going to talk about the reason why this is. When the app first boots up, it'll check for the SU binaries. And if it finds the SU binaries anywhere on the system, it will not let you log in. And when it comes to the SU binaries, if um, it checks for this every 30 minutes. So certain there was another trick to get around this. And the reason as to why that trick didn't work is because Go will check every 30 minutes whether or not you have root on your device. Also, this is the last second thing I kind of forgot to show you guys how to use the new exposed, uh, the system is exposed. So pretty much, well, I already have it open here. Uh, you need to make sure you have root mounted. So until you have the root mounted, you're going to go into the exposed installer and you're going to scroll under systemless and you're going to do install slash update and you're going to hit allow. It's going to download the required files and install it for you. There we go. Just you need to Alright, so once you see this, you'll hit OK. Uh, I do recommend backing up, but I don't have the space to back up on my own phone, so I'm just going to hit OK and ring it anyways. Uh, you're going to hit Remember This Choice Forever. Allow. Uh, do you want to reboot into recovery now? Yes. It's going to reboot into recovery and flash your zip. Alright, now it's going to reboot back into Android. Alright, so here we are back in Android now. As you can see, by the way, there's a green check instead of a red X, and it also says which build I have installed, and that's the systemless build. Now, basically, you can pull this sidebar out here and start downloading modules and stuff like that. And yeah, um, that's basically it. That's all I pretty much have to show you guys uh, in terms of this, this sort of setup and stuff. So... Uh, this also, by the way, as far as I know, apparently some people are re reported that you can get Android Pay to work by disabling root this way. I'm not too sure, but that's maybe a video for another time. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, uh, you know, if you did. Don't forget to share. Check out Twitter and stuff like that in the description down below. Also, if you feel like it, do support the channel on Patreon. And until then, I'll catch you all next one, and have a great day. All right, kick back, relax, and grab yourself a beverage. A hop if you want to just pass to my leverage. The evidence, as they say, is in the pudding. So show me the money like my name is Cuba Gooding. It ain't fool's gold, it's gold, fool. Can't stop, won't stop, keeping it old school. So cool. Big spoon is my nom's a plume. I keep it popping like a needle in a new balloon. And if you don't know by now, then you need more schooling. Let loose, kid, get stupid. Got more flavor than I know what to do. It's to get your hands up if you're part of the movement. And bump to the bump to the baseline. I made it right before your phone had FaceTime Yes sirree, you know my steez I stay fresh to death like I'm drowning in Febreze Up, up, and away we go